Hey, welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Todd, the Screenhorn Barbecue Beer. This is Six Pack. What's going on, people? So, so we're still in Alamogordo, enjoying the sun and the heat. It's beautiful out here. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but uh, hey, we're going to leave the hotel. We're leaving early to get up to Mad Jack's up in uh, Cloudcroft, New Mexico. And we're going to give it a try. Uh, we know we've got to wait in line, so we're going to get up there a little bit early. So let's hit the road. It's 9.45 and uh, they open at 11 so we're hoping the line's not too long when we get there. So we've both done a little reading on Mad Jack's. Uh, he's got a lot of great reviews. Uh, apparently this guy has been in business for about four years. The story goes that he found a, a cash of money in a used car trunk and he came up here to Cloudcroft and bought an old mercantile cash. So I, that's that's the story that we heard, that I heard, and uh, and he's from Lockhart, Texas, and uh, he's he's apparently learned from some of the best of them. I think it's going to be good. Sunday barbecue. Looking forward to some brisket, some dino beef ribs. Yeah, we hope we hope they have beef ribs left by the time we get there. Unlike my uh, Portland trip. <laughs> Made the cloud croft. Now we're gonna get in line. It's going to be good no matter what it looks like. California, that's a gift. Thank you, sir. All right. Black butter. Oh, oh, that's black butter. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's a beautiful thing right there. There you go, boss. Nice. Thank you very much. Give yeah. me a shot. All right. It'll come, it'll come down hopefully in a little bit. I'm one guy short today. That's kind of hurt. Oh, wow. Five, you need some help, five. let me know, man. I'll get back there. I'll work for free. That look okay for you, brother? Yes, sir. That's a gift. Oh, thank you. Go. Five, five. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, brother. Woo, you got a big dino. Oh, yeah. That's my first dino ever. 
They don't like it. Yeah. Uh, Bread, pickles, onions. How? <laughs> Yes. Yes. It's already fell off the bone there. <laughs> That's awesome. Heck yeah. Alright, so this is very delicious. Um, it's got that salt, pepper, Central Texas <coughs> style. Uh, it doesn't need anything else. It's got a great smoke ring. That's that post oak that uh, they're so famous for here in Texas or over there in Texas. And uh, as you can see, this brisket is really juicy. It just falls apart. Robert, what do you think? Got my dino on. Mm -hmm. Worth the wait. <laughs> yeah. Definitely worth the wait. There's not a whole lot I can say about this other than get out here to Cloudcroft. Wait in line. Uh, it wasn't that long of a wait. Um, I'll get in here. I, I probably ordered too much rib. That's a whole pound. I'm probably going to have to take some with me. And it'll last because it's smoked, so I'm not worried about that. But um, this is great stuff. Um, the sauce is really good. I'm not sure what's in the sauce, but, but I'm liking it. Um, the brisket has got great bark. Um, it's got a nice salt pepper uh, taste. And uh, it's just all around really good Central Texas barbecue. So I'm going to get eating and uh, see you in here in a little bit. Hello. Fully loaded. It's going Ready in. Go. Brisket going sandwich. In. Good stuff. So we're here with the Sosa family, um, and Joe, Joe Alex, Joe. So uh, they just, they were, in, they were in line right behind us, and they survived the line. And uh, what did you guys have? We had brisket sandwiches. Brisket sandwiches? It's all point. And it's all gone. It was good. Look and, at that. And, and four to go. And four to go. Okay. Yeah, I got some to go, too. So... Do you guys recommend this place? Okay, so these guys are locals. They're from uh, Rio Doso, which is uh, just up the road, no ways. Yes. Beautiful little town. Uh, go check it out. It's got a great casino. And uh, anyway, just wanted to introduce you guys to these uh, fine folks. And, uh, and if locals come here, this place must be good. So it's 12:15 right now, and uh, there's still people waiting in line. Uh, they do about 32 to 35 briskets a day from what they told me. Plenty of dino ribs. They're not going to run out for a while. These guys are only open for lunch on Sunday, uh, but they're not having a problem serving. So the smoker that Jack's, Mad Jack's uses looks like about a thousand gallon capacity. Looks like they're uh, built by Moberg Smokers, and uh, I'm going to look those guys up as soon as I get back to my hotel. Okay. 
So they're really busy right now in there. They still got the line and I'm not gonna disturb them. They literally don't have enough people barely to sell a t-shirt, let alone give me a tour of the beautiful smoker here. One thing I could say is Mad Jacks has it going on up here in Cloudcroft. You're at 9,000 feet and you're smoking some awesome barbecue. Um, plenty of wood, looks like uh, post oak. And I think after checking out some of his posts, he goes up to Lockhart and gets some of his wood up there. Um, not sure how often or how much wood he uses, but uh, there's plenty of it. Uh, telling from the hydraulic splitter over here, he, they split their own wood. I'll give you a quick little tour of that. So it looks like Mad Jax has a trailer too. Of course, that's where he started. He was in a trailer in Lockhart. And then he found some money in a trunk of a car and came up here and bought this place cash. So uh, they're too busy again to ask, but I'm wondering if this is the trailer he started out of about four years ago, five years ago. That'd be interesting to know. But uh, anyway, post your comments. Maybe we can get Mad Jack to post some comments too. I don't know. But uh, I come out here to Mexico, New Mexico a few times a year. And this is going to become a regular stop for us for sure. So um, me and the six pack are going to go shopping and see what kind of trouble we can get into. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.